everyone how are you all it is weekly rollover time first week of september checking and stuff in the rollover money um i do have 20 pound extra in the rollover money because i had 20 pound left in my direct debit account um because one of my direct debits didn't go out so yeah but let's do our check-in first. I mean, to be honest, other than food shop, because we did that over a couple of days, the first few days before we bothered to do another shop, which, you know, isn't something I'd advise doing. Um, I really want to get back into the routine of doing a food shop like once a week and then like a top-up shop towards the very end of the week for milk and fresh fruit and veg and stuff. So, yeah. But we are starting here on Saturday. Um, we went to the cinema, so that was £33. We also got the kids some food, so that was 30 quid. And then we paid £4 for parking. That came out of our variable binder. It came out of our family fun envelope. Um, and I, pay, I got some milk that was £3. I did a top-up shop for some school bits for the lunch boxes, so that was £13. I spent £8 on Amazon for postage bags for my vintage parcels, um, and I spent £44 on food shop. The following day, on the Tuesday, we spent another £54 on the food shop. This was like the main food shop of what we had left to buy, basically. and. It was like £30 on Backy and £6 on um, some pop and stuff because it's been really hot this week. Um, so all of the pink is what come out of our purse, so our weekly spending, um, which is what... That is the money that is used for food shopping, petrol, all the bits like that. Um, and that is the money that each week in my rollover what is left is getting stuffed in, like in this video. Um, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday were all no spend days. So we've had four no spend days this month at 15. So we've got 11 more spend days, no spend days to go before we hit that. Um, I really need to get my backside into gear with listing on Vinted this weekend because I keep putting it off. Um, so yeah, so I need to sort that out and get that like... Yeah, just get my arse into gear with it all. I hope you are all well. I hope you have all had a lovely week. Mine's been alright. My mood's been a bit up and down, you know. But overall, it's been pretty good. Like, you know, well, I'll say that. I've been in a lot of pain. And... No, no, not going to lie. It hasn't been a fab week, to be fair. Like, it could be a lot worse. You know, I'm grateful that it could be a lot worse. But I'm in a lot of pain struggling to sleep i'm very tired but yeah but that's my moan i'm not going to moan anymore um i hope you've all had a good week i'm hoping to have a nice weekend just chilling um right let's crack on with these shall we now the other day what i did is i've basically crossed off all the 40s now i wiped it clean and i did it so i've crossed off all the 40s um, so I'm only left with 10s and 20s and a 30, but I'm going to cross that 30 off in a minute. So we had £20 left in the bank. I'm very tempted to use this for savings challenges, but I'm not because technically it is money left over. So I'm going to put it in the rollover. So we had £50 and a couple of pounds, um, which is still in the bank. So that'll be withdrew whenever... I can either get to the bank to withdraw the odd two pound or um, I'll just like round it into one of the next rollovers because basically every Friday evening whatever is left for that week's money goes into like a rollover like it goes into a separate account that I've named rollover um, and there's two pound something in there but yeah um, so we have the 50 pound left over from this week and the £20 left over in the bank, which is a total of £70. So we're going to pop that in my jar. I haven't touched this money at all since the 8th of July when we first stuffed it. Um, 
the only thing I have done is I unstuffed it because it got really hot. It was in a tin and I opened the tin and I swapped out some pounds for notes to make it lighter. And then I went to the local bargain buys, which is like similar to B&M. And they didn't have any tins. So I've kept it all in a jar, but, it, you know, I haven't dipped into it or anything. Is what I was, the point I was trying to make. Um, it's not being touched till the 31st of December. And then we will unstuff it and allocate it then. So we've got £70. So 30 50 60 70 there we go my last tracker was a two pence tracker and it saves 1300 and just a bit less than 1340 um i'm just using these trackers to kind of keep me motivated i've already put my pound coins in from this week i put them in earlier in the week so i've crossed that off um anything under 10 pound will go on here then i'll condense it and it'll go on to here and once this is full I'll just concentrate on this one. Um, I haven't got a target in mind because it's money that's supposed to be spent. You know, it's not there to be saved. It's there for food and petrol and, you know, it's, it's that's what it's allocated for. Um, so, but because I'm not at work, we're not using as much petrol. Um, so, yeah. Um, and I'm, pr I'm pretty sure I'm not smoking anywhere near as much either. Now I'm not at work. Um, and my partner vapes. Um, he does smoke a bit, but he mainly vapes. So, like, a 50 gram now between us lasts us a whole week. Whereas, at one point, we were getting for about 80 grams between us. So, yeah. Um, that is my only... I say it all the time, but it is literally my only gripe, you know. I don't spend money on getting my hair done. I don't get spend money on clothes. I don't spend money on um, getting my nails done. Um, I don't drink alcohol. So I'm not like... At one point, I was going to quit just so that I could save more money. And then I was like, do you know what, Jazz? You don't, like, spend anything on yourself. You're allowed a treat. Like, I'd put £20 up a week, probably, if not more. Because I know when I last had my hair dyed, it was about 90 quid. I mean, my hair and my hair's a lot longer now. Um, so if I was to have my hair done every six weeks, that would probably be, like, £20 a week. Um, if I was to have my nails done, I know around here, it would probably cost me about £30 every time. So, you know, I'm not going to... I don't want to strip myself of everything, so I'm not, basically. It's my dirty little habit, and yeah, it is what it is. Um, but that's it. I have um, already recorded my week two for, I've pre-recorded that, so it's better lighting, because um, I've recorded this quite late, so I've had to put my ring light on. Um, so you'll see that Sunday morning, you should see this Saturday morning, I'm not editing it because, well, I don't think I need to edit it and I haven't got time to edit it if I want it up by tomorrow morning. So yeah, um, I hope you have enjoyed this unedited version video, um, look out for a couple of extra videos being chucked in throughout the month that aren't cash stuff in but they're still budget related. Um, and yeah, thank you for all of your continued love and support, as always, in whichever way you support me. I really do appreciate it. Please leave a comment down below, because I love reading your comments. Um, it really does bring a smile to my face. Um, so yeah, leave me a comment down below, and I will get back to you about everything and anything. Um, let's hope it's not quite as hot this week because it has been very very hot um but yeah if any of you have sold on vinted let me know how you found it because the whole listing thing i find a lot easier than ebay but i don't know why it just seems like a simpler system but 
no, there's no drop off or pick up for any of the delivery services they use in my town. I've got to travel 20, nearly 20 minutes or half an hour to drop parcels off. Um, and I don't know where I stand with like dropping the parcels off. Like, do I have to drop them off every night? Um, or could I like do say on a Monday and a Friday? Um, let me know. And also, I forgot to mention. Oh, I've mentioned it quickly now. Oh, I brought this off Finted a while ago. You might remember my video of it not turning up. Now, in one sense, I really want to keep it because with like these and stuff, I'm like, oh, I could use it to save it for our wedding. But I'm not going to because I've already brought. I've got this beautiful binder that I brought off Scouse School Budgets. Um, it's an iris binder, it was hers, and she sold it to me. And that's, at the moment, that's got denominations that are more affordable. Unless I was to, like, put four £10 in, then rub them off and then put a £40 in, there's quite a few £40 on here. Um... Anyway, the point I'm getting to is I have decided to sell it. Um, I don't know how much these sell for new because I've never managed to get one new. Um, every time I go onto Iris's Etsy page, they were always sold out. Uh, not Yeah, Etsy page, they were always sold out. So I don't know how much these sell for new. Um, I paid £25. I haven't used it. I'm more than happy to keep it, um, but I basically just want my money back of what I paid. So it'll be like 25 and then I'll pay for postage. So if anyone is interested, um, if you inbox me on Instagram and whoever, or, or message me or leave me a comment, on YouTube um, and whoever's the first to comment or whoever's the first to inbox me you'll have the first chance of refusal um, and I'll just do it via via bank transfer and then I'll send it via Royal Mail tract um, so yeah if anyone is interested um, just yeah just get in touch with me and I will get it sent to you. I mean, if you message me this weekend, for example, I'll get it sent out Monday morning for you once we've done the school run and I'll send it tracked as long as like the payment's cleared. Um, but yeah, I just thought I'd pop that in because I did put it on a story on my Instagram, but I don't know how many people saw it. Um, I haven't put it as an Instagram post yet, but if I haven't heard anything by Friday off anyone, I'll put it as an Instagram post next week and then if in the second week it doesn't sell um, I'll just keep it and I'll just like I can just put a smaller amount at the front until it's enough to put in the envelope or whatever but anyway yeah I've chatted along I've chatted way too much um, so <laughs> I'm gonna go now but um, yeah have an amazing week everyone and I'll see you all soon bye